Well, here I am again. My favorite place, the bathroom. <laughs> okay, I'm here at Mother's house again. And she had said, Hey, Video Joe, my sink is running slow again. So I thought I'd humor her. Last time I was here, she said the same thing. I checked it all out and it seemed to run fine. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fill that up with water and I'm gonna see what's going on here. But I did bring I did have this out in the garage. Unclog your sink, shower, and bathtub drains in seconds. What is it? The zip it. And looks like it's from Cobra. Okay? And is it this one? No, it's not this one. This was so, this is a knockoff. This is something different than the zip it. But you can see it's got little teeth on there and stuff. And I've tried that before, but I like the zip it. I've had this for a while. It's nice and stiff. See how much thicker it is? And these little splines are just, just the side of the plastic cut out like that. And it's designed to pull the hair out of the drain. And we'll see what we're gonna see what happens by using the zip it. I'm gonna I'm gonna run that. And it sounds to me that it's draining. Uh, it's probably not draining as fast as she would like. It's still creating the little tornado thing. And if that was my sink, I would say it's fine. And it's probably going a little bit slow, but it's not that bad. But because it's mother, because she had it on her list, I'm just going to run this zip it through here a couple times. It, it's, it doesn't really take very long to do. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run the water. I don't really have to run the water. I guess I could do it either way. And this is designed to where you don't have to pull the pop-up valve out. And the pop-up valve usually is attached on, on, your, on your other extension rod underneath the sink. And you'd have to undo that, pull that out, fish it down through there. And you could do it that way to unclog your sink. You could take your, the trap out underneath the sink. But this is something really quick and easy that any average Joe should be able to do if you just take this little thing right here. And it's got a hole. It's got a hole here at the end just so that you can pull on it, that's all. And um, use it to probe down in there. And I'm just gonna shove it down in there. And yes, I don't have any gloves on, but that's okay, I'm gonna wash my hands when I get done. And see, I'm pushing it down through there. And you just have to kind of pull hard. You can already see that I got some stuff out of there. And by repositioning this different ways, you should be able to get it down in there one way or another uh, without taking the pop-up valve out. And see, this is designed to pull out any hairballs, clogs that you might have that's, that are clogged up on and wrapped around the pop-up valve. Okay? There's a little bit, but there's not, there's not very much. Okay? Your sink, you could have a lot if you've got lots of hair down there. And so, see, she's got a, she's got a little bit there. Look at that. All because I transferred this over on, on this back side instead of the side or the front side, see? It just depends how, how the hair is wrapped around that pop-up valve. And it seems to me that it's pretty clear, okay? I'll just keep probing just a little bit more. And see, I'm pushing it all the way down. It's going down into the trap already. So even if the hair is down lower, lower than the pop-up, I should be able to get it out. See, I just got a little bit more out. And that's... That's pretty much all, all that you have to do. I mean, how long does that really take? 
play this video back. Did I did I use any effort? Here's some more. See, did I did I do that much effort there? No, I didn't. And I'm gonna say most of most of her clog I've gotten now. And like I say, it was draining actually pretty easy to begin with, but you can see, you can see I've already got, uh, yeah, you can see that. I've already got quite a bit there, see? And I'll keep that off to the side, and you can keep it running, and you can just kind of do a little bit of this business if you want, and see if you can't get any more, but, but her drain wasn't that clogged, okay? I'm basically going through the motions to let you know how easy this is to do this, okay? And now we're gonna we're gonna uh, just fill this up. Get that hairball out of there. That was that was enough hair to slightly get it to drain a little bit more or a little bit less than normal. Okay. And uh, we're gonna see what happens here. I'm sure this is gonna run a little bit better. And like I said, it wasn't really running that bad to begin with. She'll be happy with that, and it only took me a couple minutes to do it. And I'm gonna, I, I got little bits in there, but that's okay. That's not anything that's gonna clog it. Look at that. And I can mark that off my list. That was hardly, hardly took me any time at all. And what was this tool called, do you remember? It's called the Zip It. Okay, that's all it is. I got this at the Home Depot. You can get them. You can also get them at Lowe's. Okay, the Zip It. Unclog your sink, shower, and bathtub drains in seconds. Bathtub drains, really? And believe it or not, yes, you can. You can clean out bathtub drains just like this one here and I've done it before in this actual bathtub before I pulled out a big old hairball out of there uh, once upon a time and and you can run it down shower drains as far as this goes down you should be able to grab stuff because of these little teeth okay and how much did this cost at uh, at the Home Depot. I might have gotten this one on Lowe's even. I think uh, I've had it I've had it here at Mother's for about oh, two and a half, three years. And it cost me less than five dollars. It was probably at that time it was probably three ninety nine. Years ago, my first one I got was a dollar ninety nine and then it went up to two dollars and ninety nine cents, three ninety nine, four ninety nine. <laughs> you know how it goes. You go to the Home Depot or the Lowe's now and it's probably gonna cost you maybe $5.99 or so and I've used this here at mother's house probably oh ten times unclogged her sink this bathroom sink her other bathroom sink her other um, sink the guest bath sink and um, very simple to do okay and see how this is the container that it was in all I did was kind of open up the the end and then it just gives me a good place to store this and see this one here it's a little bit thinner and a little bit trickier to work with not as stout but this would work too so if you can if you can find something kind of like this at the store uh, you could probably do the same thing as the zip it okay I'm not trying to get you to buy the zip it I don't 
own any stock in the Zip It or Lowe's or the Home Depot, but hey, there you go. And I just, I just leave it like that and uh, that'll be ready for my next doll. I've got my simple green here and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of rinse this, clean this a little bit here. And do that. Well, I'm even gonna clean a little bit more on our counter. And I, no joke, most bathroom sinks, I always try to zip it first, okay? Because the zip it will get 90, probably 95 to 98% of your clog, and then that should be good enough. I don't, obviously, I don't, I don't spend the time, uh, if, if I can get it this good, I'm not going to spend the time to do anything more than that but if you if you really want to do a hundred percent job then I would suggest not to not to use the zip it and to go underneath the sink undo the the p-trap undo the nut on the back side of this rod here to pull the the uh, pop-up valve out then you can clean the all the hair out of that and stuff and then you can take a toothbrush and you can and you can clean all that. You can make sure inside of that is all clean all the way down. And then you can clean out the P-trap and do all that kind of stuff. And then get under there and clean out the sink underneath the cabinet. And um, wipe all that down. Then you have to make sure to put the P-trap back together properly. And if it's not an ABS black P-trap, um, it might be harder to do if you've got one of those uh, steel steel like uh, p-traps that are 20 years old you pull that thing apart you may create more of a problem than just using your zip it down through there you know what i mean because if you've got an old sink and if it's really old underneath here and stuff the last thing you want to do is touch anything underneath your sink you do that and chances are you're going to create an additional leak your p-trap might not go back together properly the little rubber gasket or the vinyl uh, ring that's around the pipe might be so worn and old and might and it might have a mark on it and might cause your your uh, your p-trap um, to leak through the threads and the thread might break and if you tighten it the wrong way or if you tighten it too much you might break the little nut if it's a hard plastic one, I mean, there's all kinds of reasons why if you're not, if you're only an average Joe like me, maybe you want to just think, hey, I think Joe's got a good, I think he's got a good idea after all to use just this. That's all I got to do. And you don't have to call a plumber. Yeah, you're going to call a plumber, really, to fix your, your leaky, your, your, um, your clogged up sink. And you're going to spend, how much are you going to spend for a plumber? $125, $150 to have them come in to, to unclog one sink. And then guess what? Four months down the road, guess what's going to happen? You're going to call the plumber again, really? To undo this entire sink again? And how many sinks do you have? You have two sinks, two bathrooms? And so next time when your bathroom sink, your other sink gets clogged, you're going to call the plumber again? and spend another $125 or, or, oh, okay, yeah, I'm sorry, he's a friend of yours. The plumber's a friend of yours. He's only gonna charge you $95 instead of $125. He's gonna save you $30 or $40 so that you don't have to do it yourself. All because why? Because you didn't wanna invest $6 or $5 for the zip it? Ah, uh, I don't know. I mean, I would say that Invest some time and effort into yourself for a change and get one of those zippets. I know. I don't care if you've ever, never done a unclog your bathroom sink before. I know if I can unclog it with the zippet, you can too. Okay? Put my words to the test. Go down to the store, spend six dollars of your hard earned money on the zippet, and let me know if it doesn't help you out, okay?
I know it will. All right, that's all I got for this time, I think. Yes, that is all I have for this time, but come back another time and I'll save you some more money. All you have to do is go to my main YouTube channel page, click on playlists, scroll down to the many DIY topics that I have on my YouTube channel. That's all you have to do. I've got over 4,000 DIY and DIY stands for do it yourself. Do it yourself videos on my YouTube channel that will save you money. Hey, there's no other place you have to go. I'm just an average show and I show you if I can do it, you can do it. And let me tell you, I have a lot of different topics on my channel and if I can do those different things, just know that you can do it too and I go through all the different steps and stuff usually on the videos and I explain everything step by step so that you and average Joe can do it too. All right, catch you next time.